This is Stuff with Kirby. Today I'm going to show you how to take an Arduino or Arduino compatible board, a servo, and a 3D printed in-move finger starter kit to make a robotic finger that moves up and down. So this is in-move. It's an open source 3D printed life-size robot. It's open source. You can download the files and print it out yourself. This is their website. It's a lot of great information on it. If you like the project and you do print something from it, maybe donate something to help them out to, to further the project. Or even check out their shop. They have some good stuff in there. You can get uh, all the component boards. The finger starter kit that we're going to do today if you don't have a 3D printer at home, you can order the kit printed from them. comes with everything you need except uh, Arduino and the servo. So let's go to the finger starter tutorial. So this is the tutorial. gives a breakdown of what you need, pictures for every step. So let's get printing. So this is a time lapse print on my Lulzbot Taz printer, printing out the parts in eSun ABS skin tone. One thing I do recommend while you're printing this out is to print an extra set of fingers just in case while you're enlarging the holes if you break one, you're not out for the next hour or so while you reprint again. So spares always were nice to have. I found when I, I drilled out the holes that I did break a few of the fingers. So when I reprinted the new ones, I started with a two millimeter bit and then stepped up to the three millimeter drill bit. So here we have our 3D printed parts. Got them all off the bed, cleaned up. We're also gonna need an Arduino of some sort. I'm going to use the Adafruit Metro. It's what I have laying around. We're also going to need a servo motor using this one here I have from Hobby King. And then we're going to need some drill bits for this next step. We're going to drill the holes out. Uh, metric size is the simplest. We also need some fishing string. This will work good for this project, but as the tutorial on the InMove site mentions, you want 200 pound fishing braid for when you put a final assembly together. But this works good just for testing right now. All right, so here's the finger starter kit I'll put together follow the steps on the tutorial. I did run into a problem when powering the servo from the board that it couldn't give it enough power to move the servo. So I'm using a back that I use from RC cars here. It takes in 8 to 40 volts DC and I'll put either 5 or 6 volts at a max of 5 amps. And to power that you could use anything that gives that kind of power. I normally use a LiPo RC car battery, but today I'm just going to use this here that I have. It has eight double A's. So let's turn that on. Got the code all loaded on the board already. So here you see it lays the finger flat and curls the finger up. As you saw, it was all working, and this is how it looks completed. I did one thing different than in the tutorial. In the tutorial, it showed to use this piece to attach to the servo, but I had problems getting that one to fit. So I used the other part that we printed off, and then it went with a disc similar to this, as you see here, and it just screws on. That worked better for me. And 
Another tip I have when following the tutorial is when you get to the step where you're done running the wires through and you tie the knots off at the finger and you're gonna cut the string and then glue the fingertip on. Before doing that, load up your program on the Arduino or Arduino compatible board and let it run through the program. Just make sure that it all curls up like this good, doesn't get stuck anywhere. Because once you trim the strings and glue the cap on, it's a lot harder to fix a problem. Now that you have the finger starter kit completed and hopefully working well, now you could move on to making the whole hand for the InMove project, or you could make the skull, which is pretty cool too. This was one of the first things I 3D printed when I got my printer. It's on my list of things to reprint though, because I had a lot of ABS splitting issues since I was just learning, and the tolerance isn't the greatest on some of the parts. I didn't have the printer calibrated all the way. But once it's done, it's a pretty cool project. You have a servo that would move the head up and down, left and right, the jaw up and down. So it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for other videos or comments on this video, just let me know. Thanks.